Scott Pierce fans, our next fight of the evening is brought to you by Damage Plan MMA Podcast. This fight is an amateur flyweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds, and when the fight begins, the referee in charge is Dave Selyusted. Introducing the first fighter of the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, he is making his amateur debut with a record of zero wins and zero losses, and weighed in at 119 and a half pounds. Fighting out of the Vigilante Academy, Fierce fans, make some noise and welcome to the cage, Dietrich Jessup! Making the walk for the first time ever, he is Dietrich Jessup, the 18-year-old fighting out of Vigilante Academy. Started training at just 15 years old, and upon turning 18, looks to kick off his MMA journey here tonight at Mountain View High School. And Jason, he is one of the two that we talked about earlier on in our show open about the Vigilante Academy. A new school coming out of Syracuse. He's also got Trey Munn fighting and a couple of fighters. They're going to headline the prelims here tonight, Leandro Lucion versus uh, Trey Munn as well. But right now we're talking about Dietrich Jessup, and, and he is, is someone who is just 18 years old entering the cage for the very first time. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't even know. I mean, when I was 18 years old, well, I was in boot camp for the Marine Corps at 18 years old, getting yelled at by drone instructors. I can't even imagine stepping inside the cage and, and getting ready to throw down with another another grown man. Something to look forward to for Dietrich. He does have quite the boxing style. I talked to him a little bit about it. We don't know a lot about these amateur fighters coming in, especially the debuters, because we don't see much of them. And so we all we have is the social media as well as talking to them directly. He told me that he has a boxing style. He told me that he wants to keep the fight standing. He does have a little bit of jiu-jitsu in his background as well. He competed in a tournament back in August. He went 4-1 and one and came away with two submissions and a bronze medal. And so I'm very excited to see wherever this fight takes place, I think Dietrich is going to be ready for it. When I asked him what is he looking forward to, he said specifically a knockout. Yeah, I'm super excited to see what he brings. Vigilante, we don't know what to expect from these guys. I, I see one of his coaches, T. Vigil, in his corner there. We've seen him in the Fierce Fighting Championship cage before, so I know, I'm expecting uh, Dietrich to be a tough guy. Fighting out of the red corner, he's also making his amateur debut with a record of zero wins and zero losses, and weighed in at 124 and a half pounds. Fighting out of Agima Jiu-Jitsu and MMA, Fierce fans, make some noise and welcome to the cage, Brendan the Menace Myers. A very long road just to make the walk here tonight. Enter Brendan Myers. The flyweight out of Agima Jiu-Jitsu has been working tirelessly for the better part of two years to get here today. Jason, Brendan is 23, and Dietrich is 18 years old. You know more about strength and nutrition than anyone I know. Do you think there are any differences between those two ages in terms of strength and just overall body maturation? I think there can be a difference in there. I, I also think it depends on the individual coming in the cage and, and looking at, uh, at uh, Brendan as he's getting in the cage. He actually looks, he, they, they look very similar. They both look like young, young guys, basically. So I don't know if there'll be that much of a difference there. Um, but we're going to find out here. But, you know, I have seen, I've seen guys that are 18 years old that look like full-grown men and full-grown men's strength. And then you see the guys that are, you know, that look like baby faces. Yeah, these two fighters making the weight at 125 pounds last night. Brendan Myers out of Agima Jiu-Jitsu, the third to walk for Agima tonight. We've also got Dietrich Jessup out of Vigilante Academy. Something about Brendan specifically, he's been wanting to take a fight for nearly a year. He has been talking about getting on this specific show, a Challenger Series show, for quite some time. And he's been training with people like Caitlin Neal, Court McGee, Dana Rissazabal, as we've talked about. I mean, we're going to continue to talk about it. There are so many fantastic fighters on this card and so many coming out of Agima Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu currently all love and respect there between the two flyweights who are going to be fighting in just a little bit. But for Brendan, I mean, you've got to wonder how good is he spending two, almost over two years at a game of training with some of the top highest level fighters. He has done a fantastic job. He lives in the gym. He's there every single day. He's one of the hardest workers, and he's done a fantastic job in preparation getting here tonight to Fierce Challenger Series 3. I don't know how we're going to top that last match, that last fight, but I'm ready to find out. It's going to be a fantastic matchup. Brendan Myers in the orange, Dietrich Jessup in the black. 
This flyweight bout is underway. Third of ten fights here tonight. Dietrich landing a couple of big shots here. Brendan searching for something. He is about to land the takedown there. Beautiful double leg entry there in the heat of the storm there. Brendan searching immediately for the arm bar here as he's searching. He's back on top now, looking for potentially a reverse triangle here, and he's also searching for that arm as well. I know this is a position that Dietrich did not want to deal with Brendan's grappling. He knows that Brendan has done a very good job in his grappling exchanges over the years. 20 jiu-jitsu matches over the last year and a half. He's got seven wins by submission and a 14-6 and six overall record. He's got an unbelievable submission hold oh, here. A knee bar. Not, oh, a knee bar. This oh, is, he's got his arm and his leg trapped. And Dietrich oh, that looks in, nasty. Dietrich came in swinging. He's able to get out right now, and we'll see them back up standing as well. Dietrich, a fantastic job standing early on. He threw a whole lot of shots early on, and that's, again, something that he was looking forward to was potentially a knockout of Brendan Myers here in round number one. Ooh, nice head kick. Staying active is Dietrich on the feet, and Brendan once again searching for another beautiful takedown. What a takedown there. Brendan with a lot of wrestling background as well. A whole lot of time out in California, specifically Fresno. His family also has a lot of different jiu-jitsu players. His brother, his dad, and a family full of fighters here for the Myers family. Brendan off on top in mount right now, searching for a couple of shots to land. Dietrich searching for ways to get out. Brendan wow. back in a beautiful oh, arm bar transition nasty. as well. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Dietrich doing a great job defending the submission, but Brendan still searching for the arm. And Jason, that was very Oh, tight. wow. Oh, nice knee to the body. Beautiful job by Dietrich. Dietrich's got the neck now. He's got the neck. It's Dietrich with a high elbow guillotine here, searching to get that. And that oh, and he taps it. out. Oh, wow. Dietrich Jessup wow. coming from behind. He gets the win here tonight and moves to 1-0. and oh. What? A fantastic matchup here, Jason. Vigilante MMA, and they are going crazy. Wow. Wow. In the striking transition, he finds the high elbow guillotine. He's able to get it done. Oh, that was impressive. I mean, the submission attempts, the knee bar attempts, the arm bar. He, this kid did everything right. Super impressed. And again, that was something we talked about. We knew that he had grappling exchanges as well. We knew that he was a bronze medalist in the past. He just fought very, re or competed very recently. He went four and one with a couple of submissions. So he had that in his back, and he showcased it here tonight against a very tough grappler a, and Brendan Myers. A very tough grappler. I mean, you saw the takedowns. You saw a little bit of the control, but Dietrich did not stop. He was doing all the right things. He fought out, got himself in the position, and got ended up with the choke. He stayed super busy on the feet, and then he was able to threaten the choke as well within all of that. I mean, I, I, I bet Brendan wasn't expecting to get submitted because Dietrich was showing all of his striking skill early on, and so he thought to himself, maybe I don't need to worry yeah. about my neck coming back up. 18 years old. Let's go over to Jackson Hoops for the decision.